ಸುರನ್ಮಿಲಿತೇನ ತಸ್ಮೈ ಶ್ರೀ ಗುರುವೇ ನಮಃ ವಂದೇಹಂ ಶ್ರೀ ಗುರು ಶ್ರೀತಪದಕಮಲಂ ಶ್ರೀ ಗುರೂನ್ ವೈಷ್ಣವಾಂಶ ಶ್ರೀರೂಪ ಸಾಗ್ರಜಾತ ಸಹಗ ರಘುನಾಥ ತಂ ಸಜೀವ ಸಾಧ್ವೈತ ಸಾವಧೂತ ಪರಿಜನ ಸಹಿತ ಶ್ರೀಕೃಷ್ಣ ಚೈತನ್ಯದೇವ ಶ್ರೀರಾಧಾಕೃಷ್ಣಪಾದ ಸಹಗನ್ ಲಲಿತ ಶ್ರೀ ವಿಶಾಖಾಮಿತಾಂಶ ಹೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಕರುಣಾಸಿಂಧೋ ದೀನಬಂಧೋ ಜಗತ್ಪತೆ ಗೋಪೇಶ ಗೋಪಿಕಾ ಕಾಂತ ರಾಧಾಕಾಂತ ನಮಸ್ತೆ ತಪ್ತ ಕಾಂಚನ ಗೌರಾಂಗಿ ರಾಧೆ ವೃಂದಾವನೇಶ್ವರಿ ವೃಷಭಾನುಸುತೆ ದೇವಿ ಪ್ರಣಮಾಮಿ ಹರಿಪ್ರಿಯ ನಮೋ ಮಹಾವದಾನ್ಯಾಯ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಪ್ರೇಮ ಪ್ರದಾಯಿನೆ ಕೃಷ್ಣಾಯ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ನಾಮನೆ ಗೌರತುಷೆ ನಮಃ ಪಂಚತತ್ವಾತ್ಮಕ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಭಕ್ತರೂಪಸ್ವರೂಪಕ ಭಕ್ತಾವತಾರ ಭಕ್ತಾಖ್ಯಂ ನಮಿ ಭಕ್ತಶಕ್ತಿ ಶ್ರೀಕೃಷ್ಣ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ನಿತ್ಯಾನಂದ ಶ್ರೀ ಅದ್ವೈತಗಲಾಧ ಶಿವ ಶಂಗೌರ ಭಕ್ತವೃಂದ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ ಹರೇ ನಾರಾಯಣ ನಮಸ್ಕೃತ ನರಂ ಚರೋತ್ತಮ ದೇವಿ ಸರಸ್ವತಿ ವ್ಯಾಸ ತೋ ಜಯ ಮುದಿರೇತ್ ಶ್ರೀಮದ್ ಭಾಗವತ ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ ಕ್ಯಾಂಟೋ ಏಟ್ ಚಾಪ್ಟರ್ ಬಿಗಿನಿಂಗ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ವರ್ಸ್ ನಂಬರ್ ಥರ್ಟೀನ್ ಕಿಂಗ್ ಪರೀಕ್ಷಿತ್ ಇಸ್ ಆಸ್ಕಿಂಗ್ ಕ್ವಶನ್ಸ್ ಟು ಸುಖದೇವ್ ಗೋಸ್ವಾಮಿ after he has heard the description of the universal form of the lord and also the meeting between sri narada and lord brahma and his main purpose is that he wants to hear about lord krishna and he said that once mind becomes fixed on the feet of lord krishna then it is not possible to leave it bhautatma purusha krishna padmulam namcha so all these questions which he is posing they are directly or indirectly related with krishna because krishna has two types of manifestations the spiritual creation and the material so the questions are related to both and mostly they are related to the material creation so in bhagavatam in the very first verse there is lakshan or definition of the lord which is given satyam param dhimahi that we meditate on the absolute truth and the first thing which is said is janma dasyata what is the symptom lakshan of the absolute truth that absolute truth is the source of this creation and it's also behind its existence and ultimately it dissolves in him so that was the first thing which was said so many of these questions which are being asked here are an expansion of that statement of nirmanasya because we have to first understand the tatastha lakshana and then we go to the swarup lakshana of an object this is the style in vedic literature so tatastha lakshana is that which speaks about the energies of the object how it manifests outside its own swarup and swarup lakshana is the direct description of that object so in between there are various prayers by different devotees in bhagavatam and in those prayers there is also description of krishna's form and of course he has various types of forms so there are different descriptions of his various forms and then there is also description of the universe so sometimes this question is asked that why there is talk of these planets and time and creation and the kalpas 
do some simple here about Krishna. So Vishnath Chakrati Thakur has commented earlier that there are descriptions from different devotional points of view because there are various types of devotees. Those who are pure devotees, mixed devotees, mixed with jnana, mixed with yoga, mixed with karma. So Bhagavatam speaks about all of them. So here he had asked questions about first the living entity, then about the three forms of Lord Vishnu, and then he asked where does Lord sleep after he relinquishes this material creation. And about the universal form the question was asked. And then there was question about time. That how the time is divided because after the Lord is the ultimate cause behind creation and behind everything else is the Sarva Karana Karanam. The next important thing is time which is very mysterious but has to be understood. And then third is the material nature. So now he is asking about time. And then after that he will ask about the material nature and how it manifests. And then karma. So this is the essence of the Vedic literature. Let's talk about the Lord, about time, about living beings, of course, because it concerns us. And then let's talk about the matter, prakriti and karma. And there is one more feature which is from half. So these are five or six topics which are discussed all around in different ways. And if we can understand them, then we can understand the whole gamut behind this scripture. So in this verse he says, in the previous one he has talked about what is Kalpa and Vikalpa and past, present and future and the life spans. Now he says, Kalasya nu gatir yatu lakshate and vi brihatyati yavatya karam gatayo yadrishir dvij sattamaha says, please explain to me the various types of anugati or anugati means following means the movements of time which could be small related with the smallest time anvi and brihati means the greatest time and then yavatyaha karma gataya then what are the various types of karmas so after time the next thing is karma because karma happens within the framework of time any action is performed within time and it gives its fruit also within time. So what are the various types of karmas and the various destinations of karma? This explain to me. So Sri Vishnath Chakrati comments, Anugatir Anupravritti. The word Anugati here means Anupravritti or following. Anvi Parmanuvadi Rupa that which is related with Parman because the time is calculated from the movement of sun and this is the smallest calculation of time taken by Anugati. sun. Hmm? What is the time? What is this time? the time? This is calling it Anuvi but I think it is called something else. Anuvi simply means related with atom. And Brihati Varshadi Rupa, the big ones in the form of ears. Karmagatiyo Bhadra Bhadra Karma Prapyani Sthanam. And the destinations achieved by the karma, good or bad. Yadrishi Yadrishya Prayapnoti. 
यदुक्तम श्री भगवता जात श्रद्धो मत कथासु निर्वण सर्वकर्मसु सो अर्लियर इन द प्रीवियस वर्सेस द कमेंटेटर वाज ऑलवेज रिलेटिंग दिस वर्सेस टू डिवोशन सो हियर आल्सो ही सेज दैट व्हाई ही इज टॉकिंग अबाउट कर्म बिकॉज व्हेन वन बिकम्स डिस्पैशनेट in the results of fruitive activities and develops shraddha in hearing lord's katha then that is the qualification to be a devotee in the 11th canto krishna gives qualifications that how does one take to different path path of gyan yoga he says that yoga traya maya prokta i have spoken three yogas gyan yoga karm yoga and bhakti yoga and i said that there are no other yogas now there are many yogas there is vikram yoga there is ayangar yoga laya laya yoga laya yoga and there are also now christian yoga and jewish yoga <laughs> yeah some some there are now in america Because What about the yoga of basket weaving and so on and so forth? That is also there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there are various types of yoga. No? <coughs> Dance yoga and so on types of yoga. Kundalini yoga. So these are all, everything is within these three. There is nothing beyond these three parts. <laughs> because this is the age of fusion <laughs> and age of confusion also fusion <laughs> <laughs> originally they were clear you know this is karma yoga this is gyan yoga this is bhakti yoga so there is no problem but now karma yoga has become mixed with bhakti yoga and then you don't know whether you are doing karma yoga or you are doing bhakti yoga so you go to i you go to shivananda yoga so and then they will talk about advaita vedanta because the ultimate thing is shivananda ultimately is advaitic and then they talk about ashtanga yoga because he is a yogi and then they will say now we have to do karma yoga and then in the evening they will do hari krishna maha mantra <laughs> so you don't know what they are <laughs> and this is very common i have given lecture in many yoga centers so everybody chanting mantra now and doing seva and also seva they they are not clear whether seva means bhakti or seva means karma yoga so some people say everybody has to do karma yoga two hours in the ashram some people say bhakti yoga so this is the age of fusion and confusion but everything is coming only from these three and then ultimately they don't know what they are doing so i gave lectures explaining what is karma yoga gyan yoga and bhakti yoga and people who are following somebody for 15 years 20 years they don't know what is what but they are all yogis so therefore these questions are being asked here so that uh What about the yoga of Patanjali? Right? There is also Maheshwar yoga in Kerala. Yes. Right? Is. What, but what about Patanjali yoga sutra? Where where does it fits in? That fits in Gyan yoga. In Gyan. And the Kriya yoga? <coughs> kriya yoga, no, the Kriya yoga is various types. So there is Kriya yoga of uh, Bhagavatam. which is devotion that is kriya yoga of paramahansa yoga namba that is yoga that is also kriya yoga of vishwananda that is bhakti kriya yoga bhakti kriya yoga also kriya yoga of somebody else on the same day satyananda saraswati has yeah. kriya yoga that is different yes. type of kriya yoga so there are many types of kriya yoga namba yeah. yeah.
सो ही देर फोर इज सेज दैट यदुक्तम श्री भगवता जा श्रद्धो मत कथासु निर्वर्ण सर्वकर्म सो सो वन कम्स टू भक्ति वैन वन लूज इज इंटरेस्ट इन कर्म योग एंड दिस मस्ट बी अंडरस्टूड क्लियरली बिकॉज पीपल ऑलवेज मिस्टेक भक्ति एंड कर्म इज वन और समटाइम दे जस्ट यूज द नेम बट दे डोंट नो वट दे आर डूइंग सो भक्ति इज कम्प्लीटली डिफरेंट फ्रॉम कर्म योग एंड वन वन गिवज अप कर्म योग वन वन टेक्स टू भक्ति दीज टू थिंग्स वन गो टूगेदर बिकॉज एज आई सैड यस्टर्डे दैट भक्ति हैज वन क्वालिटी दैट डज नॉट लाइक एनी बडी एल्स wants to be the supreme and does not tolerate the presence of anyone else it sometimes blesses others that if somebody is doing karma then bhakti can bless so that one will get the result of karma or jnana but bhakti is bhakti and they are speaking it doesn't mix with anybody so therefore it says nirvana ha sarva karma sha nirvana means disinterested and sarvaka musumins in all fruitive activities all prescribed duties that's why krishna says sarv dharman paritak jamam ekam shana he is not saying that you give up few dharmas you can keep some he says sarv dharma have so that is bhakti otherwise bhakti is not possible then next question यस्मिन कर्म यस्मकर्मसंवाय यथाप्रीयते गुणा गुणिना चिणाम्सता सो इस इज दट एक्सप्लेन टू मी द वेरियस आउटकम्स ऑफ द गुणाज दिस थ्री स्ट्रेंड्स ऑफ प्रकृति हाउ दे मैनिफेस्ट गुणानाम परिणाम देयर मॉडिफिकेशन द थ्री गुण प्रकृति एंड हाउ डज ए पर्टिकुलर जीव अटेन पर्टिकुलर डेस्टिनेशन वेन ही इज डिजायरिंग एंड बाय परफॉर्मिंग विच टाइप ऑफ कर्म डज वन अटेन ए पर्टिकुलर डेस्टिनेशन इट्स नॉट दैट यू डू एनी थिंग एंड यू रीच देयर very popular idea these days is that all religions are same you might have heard this or read articles that all religions are equal what do you say brothers worry about that no. <laughs> please don't ask me i was so scared about it <laughs> i make one time with them together <laughs> ब्रजेश्वरी डज नॉट एक्सेप्ट दिस फॉर्मूलाज गोइंग टू द आनंद मार्ग इज इन जर्मनी एंड फाइनली सी गॉट स्केर्ड बिकॉज दे टेक द स्कल इन दर हैंड एंड दे डू डांस विद वन लैक डिड यू सी दैट और नॉट दिस आनंद मार्ग इज दे टेक स्कल इन दर हैंड एंड दे विल डांस ऑन वन लैक No, I decided didn't see. They was just doing yoga, singing, and Shiva dancing. They was doing and all these things. Yeah, they do Tandav Nirtya. This is one of their sadhana. And when uh, they was uh, meditating, they was doing this Shiva dancing. 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 Yeah. <laughs> <coughs> so it is not that all religions or all karma are same. Everything is distinct. They may have certain things common, but not that everything is equal. This material world is very peculiar. That here there are certain things which are found in everything. We are all same in the sense that our bodies are all. made of the same stuff prakriti but we are not all equal 
so there is combination and separation there is commonality and there is also distinction this is how all things are formed so this is what he wants to know that yasmin karma samvaye yatha yena utbhriyate that how does one attain a particular destination and who attains it so of course this path of karma is no more functional means practically nobody following this karma yoga as it is described in the scriptures but still that list theoretically we can know so sri vishnath chakurti says guna naam satvaadi naam parinamam devaadi roopam abhipsatam guni naam jeeva naam yasmin parinaame karma naam sukrit duskrit yoga gyan bhakti naam samvaya samdaya sambhuti tam kathe so there are sattva rajas tamas and there are different destinations if you want to become have a nice beautiful body and you have to perform activities in sattva so urdham gachanti sattvastha madhye tishanti rajasa so then you have to eat food in sattva you have to act in sattva you have to hear music in sattva everything in sattva not fusion music <laughs> then you get mixed body so he says then guni naam jeeva naam yasmin parmane and these people are also having mixed body they say they are born as men then they undergo operation they become women then they don't like it they turn back there is one man he did like that <coughs> he was a man and he saw that women always seems to get along together and he thought that these men are always fighting and very envious of each other because when you see ladies they seems to be going along very nicely so he thought let me change my sex <laughs> so he changed sex and he became a female and when he became a female he realized that women are actually more envious than men men at least take it out fight and the women they never come to an end <laughs> so, <laughs> so he, well this is that's that was his statement I mean, this is not my comment <laughs> i'm just repeating what he says <laughs> so then he did another operation and became a man <laughs> again <laughs> So if anybody, any man has any desire to become a woman, take lesson from him, <laughs> and of course vice versa. So green grass looks greener on the other side, but when you go there, it's also just patches here and there. <laughs> so therefore, he says that what is the destination? of jiva yasmin parinaame karma naam sukrit duskrit yog gyan bhakti naam and what what happens if one performs yoga or gyan or bhakti mixed samudaya is also talking about mixture but if people are doing everything then what do they get like in india i go to the temple they worship everybody okay i have been to some hindu temples the worship ganesh the worship shiva and the worship durga and the worship the navagrahas then hanuman then lord ram and then krishna also so what do they gain what will happen if you worship everybody then what will happen you worship no body because krishna says that if you worship the devas you go to the devas if you worship the four fathers you go to four fathers and he says if you worship him you go to him and when you worship everybody then what happens so what happens next life you will be again born as a hindu but still like so that you continue doing it <laughs> otherwise because where where will you go like even yamaraj cannot decide where to send you, you know? <laughs> so he will make you hindu again <laughs> is the only thing possible <laughs> so you can again worship everybody don't go <laughs> anywhere <laughs> hindu 
सो सच परिणामो मनुष्य देह एव गे सो ऑफ कोर्स दिस थिंग इज पॉसिबल ओनली इन द ह्यूमन बॉडी दैट इज द इंटरेस्टिंग थिंग दैट ऑल दिस डेस्टिनेशंस वी कैन अचीव ओनली इन ह्यूमन बॉडी ऑल अदर फॉर्म्स आर जस्ट फॉर गेटिंग द रिजल्ट The hard work is done in this human form. So it's for doing the work because this is made in rajas. Krishna says, "Madhya tisthan ki rajasa." That in between are the human beings, so they are rajasic. When somebody is sattvic, that's a divine form, a rajasic human form, tamasic animal. So rajas means activity. so therefore human being have to work that's why krishna was saying karma neva nikara to ma phale sukala sama as in the same i don't want to try to say no you are human being you have to work right so yes. yeah. and then he was giving <coughs> an example so even when i come in a human form i'm always working he never stops from working so human body is for doing work not for going on vacation <laughs> It's going on vacation is a new trend. Previously, it did not exist. Fifty <laughs> years ago, who was going on vacation? Nobody was going. Now everybody is going on vacation. You have to go somewhere. Even if you go to the next town, you have to go. So this human body is for attaining, of course, the ultimate goal of life. तस्मिन अपनी परिणाम ये न जीवेन यथा यत्कर्म उपगृहते तत्कथ सो इस इज दैट वन समबडी गेट्स ए ह्यूमन बॉडी देन व्हाट इज द टाइप ऑफ कर्म वन परफॉर्म्स प्लीज एक्सप्लेन दैट मनुष्य च कर्म ज्ञानादिषु क को अधिकारी कथम किम किम कृत्वा किम किम साध्यम प्राप्नोति एंड देन क्वेश्चन इज आस दैट इवन इफ यू हैव ए ह्यूमन बॉडी then it's not that everybody is qualified to do every act so this concept that everybody is equal is is a misconception we all have different qualifications and according to qualification we have or we should perform a particular activity which is most suitable to us So therefore, he is asking that who is qualified for which action, who is qualified for karma, who is qualified for jnana yoga, bhakti yoga, astanga yoga, or any other yoga. And then, what is the destination? If somebody is engaged in karma yoga, then where will he go? If somebody is engaged in jnana yoga or astanga yoga, then what is attainable? Sadhya. we do the reach and there is a mixture then also so prashnoyam karma mishra gyan mishra yoga mishra shuddha bhakti su paryapnoti so this question is related to karma mishra the devotees who are performing devotion to attain the result of karma and gyan mishra those who want to get the result of gyan yoga and astanga yoga and of course pure devotion